recognition of a chemical attack, the standard NATO agreement allows you nine seconds to don and clear your mask and an additional six seconds to complete the adjustment and attachment of your hood. That's a total of 15 seconds. Knowing how to properly use and maintain your C4 mask is critical. Getting your mask on, however, is only part of the solution. Once on, the mask has to work. To do this, it must fit correctly and be in excellent operational condition. Proper use and maintenance of your C4 mask begins here. Your mask must be sized and fitted correctly. Just hold still. The frame of the sizing scale is placed under your chin and against your forehead. The tip of the scale is moved until it touches the bridge of your nose. There are four sizes available, extra small, small, medium, and large. A mask that doesn't fit properly will never achieve an airtight seal. And you'll take your left hand, breathe in for 10 seconds, hold it, I'll check your eyes. Don the mask by putting your chin into the chin cup and pulling the harness over your head and firmly down the back of your neck. Use the straps to adjust and tighten the two bottom adjustable straps to form a comfortable fit. Not too loose, not too tight. Your eyes should be located in the upper third of the eyepieces. If your eyes are located higher or lower, make an exchange for a larger or smaller size mask. Before you return to your unit, test for the air tightness of the re-entry seal. Block the intake with the heel of your hand. Inhale and hold your breath for five to 10 seconds. The mask should stay collapsed until you unblock the intake. If the mask returns to its original shape before that, Take there's a leak. A second, take a look at it. Remove your mask and check to see if anything is obstructing the seal. Redon the mask and redo the test. If the mask still leaks, request a resizing. Learning to use your C4 mask, mask is an important component of your basic training. First, let's look at the mask. The face piece is made of bromobutyl rubber, which is resistant to chemical agents. There are two large polycarbonate eyepieces which allow you good overall sight lines. Air is inhaled through this intake mount. Air is exhaled through the outlet valve. There are two speech transmitters, one located at the front and one located on the side. The letters at the top indicate the size. In this case, the letter L indicates large. The re-entry seal on the face piece forms the airtight seal against your skin. Check to make sure the re-entry seal is over the nose cup like this and the two holes line up. The C4 mask comes equipped with a drinking device which allows you to drink water in the field without removing your mask. The drinking tube enters the mouthpiece through the drinking device elbow and is connected to the chin with a snap-in holder. The harness is a strong mesh material, which is adjusted with these straps and tab. The mesh is secured to the face piece with six buckles and lugs. The nose cup on the inside of the mask is made of silicone rubber. Before donning the mask, remove the plug from the canister. The mask is issued with the canister intake mounted on the left side and the side speech transmitter on the right side. This is to accommodate the majority of soldiers who shoot from the right shoulder. If you shoot from the left shoulder, you must modify your mask by shifting the canister to the other side. First, remove the canister by turning it counterclockwise. Once the canister is removed, remove the blue inlet valve. Using the plastic conversion tool, Remove the side speech transmitter by turning the plastic retaining ring counterclockwise. Remove the transmitter assembly by carefully tapping the side mount against your hand. Check to be sure the rubber washer remains in the mount. Reinstall the side speech transmitter into the opposite side mount. Ensure that the visible amber membrane of the transmitter faces the inside and the protected side faces the outside. 
Replace the retaining ring and tighten it by turning it clockwise using the conversion tool. From the inside, install the blue stem valve in the inlet mount so that the stem protrudes outward through the mount center hole. Check that it is properly sealed by rotating the valve with a sweep of the finger. Next, we must switch the positions of the black nose cup blanking plug and gray nose cup inlet valve. Reach inside the mask to remove the black nose cup blanking plug located on the outside surface of the nose cup. Then remove the gray inlet valve from the opposite side. Install the black blanking plug where the gray inlet valve was taken out. Reinstall the gray inlet valve where the black blanking plug was removed. Switching the two valves is vital for airflow. Incoming air enters through the blue intake valve, then passes over the eyepieces before entering the nose cup. The airflow across the eyes prevents them from fogging up. Install the canister in the mount formerly used to hold the side speech transmitter and hand tighten it against the rubber washer. There is only one way to properly place your mask back into the carrier with the face piece facing away from the body. You are now ready to learn to use your mask effectively in various operational situations. In Module 1, you learned how to properly fit and adjust your C4 mask, and how to test your mask to ensure it obtains an airtight seal. Now you must learn how to operate your mask under operational conditions. Let's slowly go through each step of the immediate masking drill, one at a time. On hearing a chemical alert, such as gas, 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 spray, 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 or a warning alarm, stop breathing, close your eyes, and open the carrier release with your left hand. Take the mask out of the carrier by grasping the outlet valve or the speech transmitter with your right hand. Put both thumbs under the straps, put your chin into the chin cup, and pull the harness over your head and firmly down the back of your neck using the tab on the head harness to help you. Pull the strap straight back to tighten and smooth out any folds or twists. Hold the mask firmly to your face and blow out to remove any agent vapor from the mask. Test the seal by holding the heel of your hand over the canister intake and inhaling. The mask should collapse against your face. Blow out, then shout, gas, gas, gas. gas, 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 gas Begin gas, breathing gas, gas, and open your eyes. After you have gone to threat-oriented protective posture or top high like this, put on your bromobutyl gloves and close your carrier. If tactically possible, carry out a buddy check. Good. In training situations, a confidence test should be performed using the protective mask fit test kit. 
Practice each step of the masking drill until you can perform it as well as this demonstration. <sighs> Remember, the maximum allowable time is 15 seconds. Gas, gas, gas! If you do not obtain a seal the first time you don your mask, quickly check for obstructions around the re-entry seal. Once you have checked for obstructions, redo the seal test. Finally, you must have confidence in your mask. The effects of some agents take a few seconds to take hold, so the symptoms won't become apparent until after you have donned your mask. Resist the urge to unmask, thinking it isn't working. If your mask has been properly fitted and maintained, it's working. Performing tasks wearing complete protective clothing is often hot and exhausting. Water intake is a necessity. The C4 mask comes equipped with a drinking device which allows you to drink water without breaking the seal of your mask. Disconnect the tube from the holder located on your mask and press the quick connect firmly into the connector cap on the canteen. This forms an airtight connection. Levering the drinking tube elbow enables you to guide the mouthpiece into your mouth. Hold the water bottle up and squeeze. Periodically, you must force air into the bottle by blowing into it or tipping it to reduce the vacuum that is created. When finished, blow through the drinking tube to clear the water from the quick connect. Then reconnect the drinking device to the holder on your mask. When removing your mask, use the buckles to loosen the adjustable straps and pull outward and upward. Remove any moisture from the face piece by shaking it or decontaminating it. Ensure buckles are fully extended prior to storing. This will reduce stress on the face mask when donning. Once it is dry, place the mask in the carrier with the head harness against the inside of the carrier that rests against your body. Become familiar with your mask, learn to troubleshoot, and perform user maintenance. For example, during operation, moisture may accumulate in the chin cup and nose cup. Clear it away by removing the outlet valve cover and blowing the moisture out through the outlet valve. When the mask is worn or stored in a sandy or dusty environment, there is a possibility of leakage at the outlet valve because sand can build up between the mount and the valve. By removing the outlet cover and blowing hard, this particle buildup can be removed. In extremely cold conditions, the outlet valve may become frozen. This can be remedied by holding the mask firmly to your face and blowing hard and or massaging the outlet valve. If all the parts are there and in good working order and it is fitted correctly, the C4 mask will perform perfectly. Problems such as leaks, fogging of the lenses or icing on the canister are usually the result of a missing or damaged component or the seal not being obtained. For example, Fogging of the lenses usually means the nose cup valve is missing or damaged, or that the inlet valves are improperly installed. Remember, for proper airflow, the gray inlet valve must be positioned so that the valve is on the inside of the nose cup opposite the canister. Proper maintenance and periodic visual inspections should eliminate most problems before they occur.
the C-4 mask is now used by all elements of the Canadian Armed Forces. Land, sea, and air. It's up to you to keep your mask in serviceable and ready-to-wear condition at all times. This means giving your mask periodic visual inspections. Take the time to examine your mask carefully. The canister should be inspected. Look for dents, cracks, holes, or damaged threads. Shake the canister. If you hear the sound of loose carbon, then that canister needs to be replaced. Is the head harness torn or stretched? Are the strap buckles cracked or chipped? Check all plastic components. Inspect the face piece for punctures, tears, or cuts. The head harness lug areas and drinking assembly are susceptible to this type of damage. Finally, ensure that plugs and valves are neither missing nor damaged. We'll take a look at this mask. Report any damage to your NBC officer or NCO immediately. Inspect your carrier as well. Are there any tears or split seams? Do all the Velcro closures and plastic hooks work? During your visual inspection, you may notice the mask needs to be cleaned. Remember, dirt in the mask makes it uncomfortable to wear and reduces its effectiveness. Even when not in use, a mask needs to be thoroughly cleaned and disinfected at intervals of not longer than six months. Before cleaning your mask, remove the canister. Open the outlet valve cover and let it hang. Place the mask in a solution of one part Dettol or Savlon to 30 parts water at a temperature of 20 to 40 degrees Celsius. Agitate by hand for about one minute. Empty the inside of the mask and pull the re-entry seal of the face piece away from the inside of the mask to allow trapped water to escape. Then rinse the mask thoroughly in clean water. Again, remember to pull the re-entry seal away from the inside of the mask. The best way to dry the mask is to use a clean cloth to wipe the entire inside of the gas mask, including the area inside the re-entry seal. Use a soft dry cloth to wipe the eyepieces. Great care should be taken to prevent scratching the eyepieces. Once the mask is dry, Make sure all valves are properly seated. Then install the canister and return the mask to the carrier. To disinfect the drinking device, fill the canteen with a solution of one part Dettol or Savlon to 30 parts water. Attach the quick connect assembly to the canteen cap and flush the entire contents of the canteen through the drinking assembly. Rinse out the canteen with clean water and repeat the same drinking assembly flushing procedure as before using clean water. If the gas mask has been stored for a long period of time, the outlet valve may not set properly. This may result in a leak. To correct this situation, remove the outlet valve cover and rub the outer perimeter lightly with your finger. If foreign material has become trapped in the mask during storage, blow it out through the red outlet valve. If you've done everything correctly and the mask still leaks, you may have to replace a valve. For example, to replace a red outlet valve, pull the stem from the orifice mount. Look inside to make sure no part has remained in the mount. 
wet the stem of the replacement valve and insert it through the center of the mount. Gently pull the valve from the inside to make sure it is completely inserted and properly seated. Then reinstall the cover. In the event of an NBC attack, the 15 seconds stipulated by the standard NATO agreement should be more than enough time to don your C4 mask, obtain an airtight seal, yes, and go yes, to yes. top high. Yes, yes, yes. The C4 mask is designed to protect your eyes, nose, throat, lungs, and facial skin from field concentrations of chemical or biological warfare agents, riot control agents, and radioactive particles. Keep your mask well maintained and it will be there when you need it. It will probably save your life.